Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Harley. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? I like how the graphics are more detailed for this fans. game. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Trying to change the title, but it's just like an infinite loading circle. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy in exchange you food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, do you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd be four leaders? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Yeah, that's why he knocked me out. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. So I want to get on to seasons three and four because exactly I had to avoid walkthroughs of those games for the longest because I didn't have a good computer to play the game. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've been I play this for about an hour or so. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always okay, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Real. And you guys were keeping it all for yourself. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Whoa. He just drew the walkers to us. Asshole. The world out here has Would you just calm down, dude? Like, Come on. Who actually needs to get to the dairy where it's safe?
here it is. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. The graphics gonna look comic-like. Company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Lily. It's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. I gotta like playing these types Amazing. of games. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Yeah, I have a schedule on my for the channel day. for what games Wait, I'm gonna play what week. This? Y'all go get your vet. Because we all can check that out. Prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Check it out It'll right at the bottom. Nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda yeah, the St. John's have a gross secret. Like be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck and let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay, the one thing I like about Telltale games is that Lee, like when you inspect stuff, Lee moves his mouth when he talks. Like with Max, Chloe, and Sean in Life is Strange, I kind of found it, and Chris, I found it kind of spooky when you inspect stuff, like their mouth's not moving when they talk, I'm like... This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? 
This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left for Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. rope is perfect for the swing yep i'm gonna have the okay like what i'm gonna do at least for games where the competitions died down a bit like when i stream this on twitch i'll break it up into clips like i'll break it up into clips here on twitch and then all i gotta do is just download it and then all i gotta do is just edit out like if i lose or whatever for youtube that way people can watch but if i'm playing a game that's popular more likely i'll do episode minis Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think someone said someone said somewhere that an alien spore alien started the zombie the pandemic. Or... Said that. <laughs> How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Because we going to say tonight. It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. A few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was really a tough night. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Yeah, we learned that we know the St. John's secret. They have a secret. Uh, a disturbing secret. It's hard not to spoil the game. Because at a specific point in time, you assume maybe they've seen it. But just want to watch what they watch in walkthroughs. Because they want to see what other people did. That's what I do. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Lee, thank you for moving your mouth when you talk. Take notes, Max, mm. Chloe, Sean, Might Chris, one of these and Life is Strange. Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Like, I'm, like, when I play, yeah, doing my Detroit Become Human, I'm going to definitely do a different outcome. I'm definitely going to do, like, a, um, the opposite of what I did do for specific choices. Hmm. Pointy. Pointy. All right, 
This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit. Yeah, I normally go live at 7 p.m., but if I can, I'll go live earlier. This is so by the time I finish, it's not like 1 in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it does. Just I'm trying to get through as much of the game as I can. Ah, uh, yeah, but, yeah, basically I chose to, like, do streaming and then split the episodes up into clips. I'll do many just because by, by one stream, I can have content for at least a good two weeks or more. Or even a whole month than to have to record and edit a whole bunch of videos. You know. So, I mean, so I'm still going to do Let's Plays. At least for Let's the the, Day. When the hype dies down. Getting the perimeter but, um, uh, the only thing that's going to be recorded is Roblox in the Sims. Making this place safer for us. I'm going to get back to it. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Andy appreciates your offer. We can't be yeah, I gotta move my webcam because the there. message. Well, no, we made some deals side. with other folks, or trading for gas yep. and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost. Because there's like a message that says, "Joe heard what you said." See that? You found out that the survi other survivors are still on the farm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers. Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generator. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. And like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. I played this game on mobile. It's actually pretty nice. I played this on mobile. And I played Minecraft Story Mode. I wonder does anybody remember that game? Do you think we're doing enough? I'll probably stream Minecraft Story Mode on here. Well, we don't probably. want to seem over anxious. Just had to buy a physical copy somewhere. This is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. That was so that was just kind of funny. There's one. How Mark brought up that I say he was racist. I'm like, really? Ugh. Lee, it's I mean, he doesn't hate Clementine. I think he just hates me because he knows what I did. It's just funny how the game allowed me to um, do that. Disgusting. Uh. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food. 
but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Ken. <laughs> There's another one. I see it. For zombie. It's funny how the game calls them walkers, but in the interaction, it says zombie. See? It says zombie. That's kind of ironic. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off. <laughs> Mr. Crispy. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> I'm going to show you something funny. It's called messing with... It's called trolling NPCs. Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Come on. This is fun trolling NPCs, ain't it? NPC means non-playable character. Holy fuck! Whoa! What just happened? The fences are the on. The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence? Yeah, why would he turn he it on? We're out here. Uh, uh, I told you what, would what the? What did we do? We ain't do nothing to y'all. I've died at this part a few times. Yeah, I've died at this part. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? And I wish I could put up a a, a, a a death counter for whenever I die in the game. What about our arrangement? Damn! Did you really think you were fucking us? Trip. Okay. Yeah, because the red popped up. That's so. Give us the food. How close they is to getting me. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Yeah, you the the shit that now you're on the tractor! Oh, come on. Well, while they attacked us, we ain't do nothing to them. New assholes! We have a deal! We not hey, assholes at all, assholes. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. We get out of here. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? All these balls he took to the head, he's still alive. Come on. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. I got the zombie chasing me. This game cannot be any more difficult. Let's get out of here. What's wrong? Uh, 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 I don't uh, 
There's a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! Now they turn what the, to you, sweetheart? Was those bastards they turn the, the fence on when they knew it was out there. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey y'all! Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? Could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. <laughs> These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eet. I'm gonna head out. Okay, and Larry. With these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. You're welcome. Yeah. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look. My dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. Right. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just 
wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Oh. a fence electrified. You're taking a hit. I wish you could run when you want to. They look happy. Hey Lee, how's it going with the St. John's? Good. I was talking to Andy earlier and offered our group's assistance on the dairy. I don't think they have much to protect them besides the fence, though he seemed pretty appreciative. Great. Sounds like they're starting to accept us. Definitely. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. You're telling two different things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not cold just talking sweat. about one meal. There's a cold you know? sweat I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might be a good way to earn their trust. Good idea. Hey, Clint, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I don't think so. Oh, Lee? Yeah? I miss my family. I know, Clem. I didn't have the truth in Clementine. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. 
Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> Guess we'll go sniff out the bandit camp now. Sure. Come on, Lee. I really wish this game would let you run. Fellas, draw us out the I walk. Mean, the which kind of makes it feel slow. Almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to you. Yeah, y'all, they didn't tell us about we'll the bandits. Safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Andy St. John. Anyway, they're not yeah. all hell and Danny St. John. Those are the St. John's so brothers. Are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, we're going with, with uh. Yeah, we gotta with work together. Danny? Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Clementine, we're going to check out the camp. Stay close to Kenny. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back I love soon. Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. I wonder where is Clementine's head? Where did it go? I'm trying to find it. I think we're going to find it at the bandit camp. Hopefully. See anything? Yeah. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Like when I get those viewers who come and bounce, I'm on the impression I did something wrong that made them leave. You know, and I feel like I'll be putting away, put I'll be putting off potential followers or oh, viewers. Shit. You found it. Like, I feel like I have a certain amount of time to grab your attention, and I feel like you, like you left because I didn't. And I wonder what I could have done differently to grab your attention to keep you guys on the stream longer. These graphics do look like the comics. You see anybody? I mean, comic-like. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Yep, so what I'm gonna do on here, I'm gonna stream every... Whenever I play any game that comes out that I like, I'll stream it every day until I beat it. Because so I stream once a week. But whenever I have, or doing a specific slot, then yeah. that's how long I gotta avoid spoilers. This camp's too Which isn't very easy to do. Their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Because I'm talking about non Let's Players are probably gonna play it as soon as they hit the stores. The Let's Let's Players gotta record, edit, upload, you know? Empty. Nothing. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Save lots. I remember this reminds me of a story that's down the street from me called Save a Lot. All from Save Lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs.
boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. We need that find? video camera to progress. Or camcorder. Camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. I think I've looked at enough. Just water. Yuck, I don't need that. I played this game in forever. Like, how did Clementine's hat get in here? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you Like, are. how did she get the hat? Clementine's hat. That's the you question. You me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? So nobody he saw her coming into me. the camp, the motor in. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Oh. What did you do that for? What was that for? God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> like, what did he do it's that a clean for? Clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message.
Man, that escalated quickly. Danny just went. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. And screwed up for everybody then, why don't you? Calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. They always arguing. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry, and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cattle. That woman is a lifesaver. This place with just one cow. Used to have more. They get hungry too, or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. I'm gonna go wait for supper. Then. Danny noticed your suspicion. Be a good one. Oh, I didn't want him to notice my suspicion. Well, I can't walk faster. Wow. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. You say we were saying our welcome. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. Yeah, they are. But they you could told him be. to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. 
But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Yep, we're in the barn now. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right? <laughs> Clementine and Daniel in Life is Strange 2, like when they swear, it's just the funniest thing. Did you see any strangers around the motor in who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't think so, Claire. Not the way the world is now. I just, uh, I don't think I could do that. Oh. Maybe when the world gets better, then. Maybe. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. That was funny, he just called me Professor. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No, why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Hmm. You sound urban, what's that supposed to See mean? Those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Kenny thought he heard a noise. 
He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, I made an excuse. Oh, sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. How does Kaja do it with no supplies? Door, okay? Maybe just video game logic. Gets Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Like, how does... How did Kaja do it without any supplies? Maybe just video game logic. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. Now, I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. Just... You know. You gotta go outside first. Go outside. Because if you try any random diversion, then Andy just gonna come right back when you about to go open the door. So just go outside. Alright. Yeah, we see Brenda and Larry talking. How does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Alright, so. Um, go to the toolbox in the inside of the farm. And next up, toolbox. Toolbox. Just gonna borrow this for a second. Yep, you need that. Then tamper with the generator. Don't just turn the generator off. Turn it off and then tamper with it. There you go. There. That should do it. Then Andy should come out and be mad. All the time I need. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> they would have Denny find this piece. It's dinner time. Pretend Mom, this is the bell. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad, Dad, come on, let's eat. Okay. Penny, come along, honey. Penny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Boys, didn't you hear the bell? No, I didn't hear the bell. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see... Nothing but your lie is sound. But I'm still suspicious. I 
I'm still suspicious. Even though his logic is sound. But we're still suspicious. Oh, oh, oh Brenda, Biscuits? you are wow. an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. us, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was yeah, a we'll wrap up the stream soon. I'm getting tired. Everybody sit down. Now go get the meal. Well, oh, Andy had a revolver in his pocket. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. So they have running water during a zombie apocalypse. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Oh, I watched Rad Brad. He said, fuck the bathroom. We gonna go upstairs. So much morphine for candles, smart, musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Yeah, Lee. Lee's got a point. Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Yeah, the fact that the bathroom is blocked off was sort of pretty like, you know, this is kind of... Oh my god. Mark. Lee. His legs are missing. Mark. What the hell happened? Uh, brothers. To your legs, man. Don. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Dinner. Hey, did you fall in where? Probably we gotta be fast. We gotta be fast and furious. Clementine. Come on. Come on. Hustle. Hustle. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. Hustle. Hustle. Come on. Hustle. Hustle. Clementine. No. Uh, huh? Whew. Jesus, man. Because I'm mobile, I wasn't able to get to her fast enough because she your ate ass the meat. Down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? They can use some goddamn man. Okay. It didn't have to be this way. This woman right here is fucking insane! This woman made you a home-cooked meal, you ungrateful shit! Show some respect! Thank you, Larry. Huh. You don't even have the decency to take a hand out when you're offered one! It just makes me sick! It really does. That's enough, Larry. Ken, maybe we should- Hang on, Cat. Just keep Doug close. 
She's running a slaughterhouse. They kill people and pass it off as meat for gas to keep this place running. And she's the insane <laughs> one? Ha! Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. Oh, so they're cannibals. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. How? He had a shoulder wound. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyway. But like, how was Mark on die if he had a shoulder wound? Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. Wow. What the fuck? Fucking Put your fuck. guns down. There's You're an option to let Larry to let Larry eat the meat. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? We're screwed. When Larry's scolding you, depending on how you call Brenda out, Larry will scold you, and you have the option to let him eat the meat. I'll kill you. <clears throat> I think I have to call Brenda out saying this woman is fucking insane and then something. I don't know, but it all depends on how you call Brenda out. And then while Larry's scolding you, you have the option to say, you know what, Larry, F you, fuck you, Larry, eat up. And then. Wow. I guess the game made it obvious as they were cannibals since.